Please pay respect to the Buddha hmm? by reciting Namo Dasa three times. Namo Dasa Bhagavado Arahado Sama Zambhogdasa Namo Dasa Bhagavado Arahado Sama Zambhogdasa Namo Dasa Bhagavado Arahado Sama Zambhogdasa Today, we would like to explain about four elements meditation. When you are practicing samatha, there are bodhi samatha meditation subjects. But when you are practicing vipassana, there are only two meditation subjects. Rupa kamatana and Nama Gamatana. Rupa Gamatana means Dishane Ultimate Materiality. Nama Gamatana means Dishane Ultimate Mentality. When you are Dishane Ultimate Materiality, there are two ways. Tata Bhagava Ruba Gamatana Gatendo Sinkeba Manasi Gara Wasi Nawa Vitara Manasi Gara Wasi Nawa Jadu Dhadu Wawotana Gatesi This is the explanation of commentary of Mahasati Bhatana Sauta. What is the meaning? When Buddha is born, Ruba Kamatana Disani Adimi Materiality or Meditating on Materiality. There are two ways only brief way and wider way. Brief way means four elements meditation in brief way. Vaida way means four elements meditation in the Vaida way. If you want to understand ultimate material taught by the Buddha, you should try to practice four elements meditation in brief way or in the Vaida way. Or both is also okay. Because Buddha also taught only two ways. But you are bright they say vipassana or you are contemplating materiality as nature, embalmini, toga, suffering and another no self. But if you do not see ultimate materiality, then this is just superficial contemplation only. According to Buddha's teaching, Ultimate materiality arises as a small particle called Kalapas. First, you should try to understand or to see these Kalapas. These Kalapas are the smallest group of ultimate materiality. They are not ultimate materiality, only one group only. Then you must try to analyze these small particles. At that time, only you will understand ultimate materiality. So, if you want to understand ultimate materiality, you should write these four elements meditation systematically. In Mahasri Prana Soda, Buddha taught four elements meditation in brief way. In Mahayaulavara Soda, Dadu Vivenga Soda, and Dadu Vibhanga, Abhidhamma Dadu Vibhanga Pali text. Buddha explains four elements meditation in a wider way. In the same way, Benarivasari Buddha also explains four elements meditation in a wider way in Mahadi Bhattabhama Sutta of Mijima Nikaya. 
So if you want to understand ultimate material lagi, you should try to practice for elements meditation systematically. In Mahasri Prana Soda, how about that thought? Puna Jabra Begwe Begu Ima Mewa Gaya Yata Tita Yata Bani Hida Dadu So Pecha Wakati Adi Ima Sumin Gaye Patawi Dadu Abo Dadu Dejo Dadu Wayo Dadu Di This is Buddha's instruction. What is the meaning? <coughs> Again Begu E Begu Reviews this same body. However, it displaced, however, disposed. As consisting of four elements, thus, in this body, there are earth element, water element, fire element, and Wind element or air element. This is Buddha's instruction, very brief. In the name of Buddha, there are many bhikkhus who understand this way of practice thoroughly. When Buddha is pounding in a brief way, but nowadays it will be very difficult to understand. So I will explain according to Buddha's teaching. What is art element? In Abhidhamma Dhamma Sengani Bali text, hmm? Buddha explains art element, six group, six patterns, hardness, roughness, heaviness, softness, smoothness, and lightness. These six characteristics are called art element. Flowing and cohesion. These two characteristics are called Vada element. Heat and coldness. These two characteristics are called Fire element. Sabode and pushing. These two are called Air element or Wind element. Sabode is the characteristic of Wind element. But pushing is the function, function of the wind element. So all together, there are 12 characteristics. Hardness, roughness, heaviness, softness, smoothness, lightness, flowing, cohesion, heat, coldness, subordinating, and pushing. All together, there are 12 characteristics. You should first try to design these 12 characteristics one by one throughout the body, from head to foot. How you should try? For beginners, hardness is very clear in their mind. But for some meditators, it is not easy to design hardness first. Pushing is very easy for many meditators. What is pushing? For example, when you press your hand like that on the floor, you may feel pushing inside your hand. This is one example. Another example is please pay attention inside your jaw. Please bite something. While you are biting, you can feel pushing. In the same way, this is also example. In the same way, while breathing in, there is pushing. While breathing out, there is pushing. You should not mix with anabana meditation. Anabana meditation, do not pay addition pushing. Just <coughs> pay addition as breath only. Here pushing is you can follow throughout the path. The breath is going in. Then you should try to see 
in the center of your head, behind your eyes. While breathing in, they are pushing. While breathing out, they are pushing. You should try to focus on that pushing. But for beginners, we suggest if they already practice jhanas such as anapana jhana or kasina jhana or mita jhana, etc. In every sitting, they must re-establish their jhana concentration. For example, if they practice anapana up to fourth jhana, in every sitting, they should re-establish their anapana fourth jhana concentration. When light is, the light of western is very strong, at that day, please image your fourth jhana, and then please pay attention, pushing. You can clearly see this pushing very and then you can see clearly and quickly this pushing in the center of your head. Then if you can see pushing, then please focus on this pushing for a few minutes. Then it will become clearer and clearer. At that day, from inside to outside, you should try to taste pushing throughout the head. If you can see pushing everywhere in your head, Please pay attention pushing here. Please pay attention pushing here. Slowly you should try to see pushing throughout the body. If it is not clear, then please go back Anabana up to fourth jhana again. <laughs> when you are concentrate when you are fourth jhana concentration is very strong at that time please emerge from your fourth jhana. Then please pay attention pushing again. Then you will feel pushing very easily throughout the body. In the same way, while you are walking, when you press your foot on the floor, and then there is pushing. From this point, you should try to see pushing throughout the body. While you are bending, there is pushing. While you are stretching, there is pushing. So, pushing this side is called bending. Pushing that side is also called Stretching. So in every bodily movement, you should try to see pushing. If you satisfy pushing, then please bite both teeth. Do you feel hardness? So please pay attention to hardness. The very soon hardness also will spread throughout the body. But if it is not okay, then please try to do together. For example, if you want to catch one elephant, then you should persuade first with tamed elephant. <laughs> so pushing is very easy for you. Then please try together with pushing in hardness. In this area, please pay addition pushing. Then please pay addition hardness. Pushing, hardness, pushing, hardness, two together. Then slowly, when pushing in hardness, Pushing spread hardness also will follow after pushing. You can try to do some pushing throughout the body. But anywhere you can be addition. If you touch your hand, you can feel hardness. Everywhere is hardness. Especially our bones are very hard. Huh? So you can feel hardness throughout the body. Then Repeat again, again, pushing in hardness. While walking also, when you press your foot on the floor, you can pay addition, pushing parts. Then please pay addition on the touching point, you can feel hardness. So pushing hardness, again, again, please repeat throughout the body. While bending, pushing hardness. While stretching, pushing hardness. In every bodily movement, you should try pushing hardness, two together. Then if you satisfy, then please try pushing hardness again and again. Usually for many meditators who have enough concentration, they can clearly see roughness together with pushing in hardness. But if it is not clear, then you should try to re-establish your fourth jhana concentration every city. And then please pay attention to this area, especially on the top of your upper teeth. Please wrap with your tongue. 
you can feel pushy then you can feel hardness then you can feel roughness when you are rough then you can feel roughness so pushy hardness roughness three together please try then if you try in this way you can see pushy hardness and roughness throughout the body if it is okay while walking also you can try in the same way pushy hardness roughness in every bodily movement you should try to see pushing hardness roughness throughout the body only one place not enough so when you are descending you should try systematically from head to foot here you can see pushing here you see pushing here pushing here pushing in this way you should not jump throughout the body is better hmm? because everywhere there are four elements we are trying to understand these four elements everywhere so because of this reason this reason you can try from head to foot from foot to head again again repeat if pushing hardness roughness these three are very clear then you can try another one heaviness if it is not clear please press on your thumb hmm? then you can feel heaviness especially when you say the lower body is very heavy hmm? so you can try to this some heaviness if it is clear you should try to this and throughout the body so all together there are four characteristics pushy hardness roughness heaviness while walking or, or in every bodily posture you should try in the same way four hardness roughness heaviness pushing hardness roughness heaviness then if it is clear then please try another one supporting supporting is close to hardness very easy if you try together with hardness it will be very clear supporting means yeah for example if you do like that you can feel supporting if it is not clear please do like that okay then please do like again okay. then you can feel supporting supporting is to make your body stable not to fall down if you get no support then you will fall down so they are support all together they are five characteristics while walking or in every bodily posture you should try to discern these five characteristics then if you satisfy then you can go on another one while sitting if you want to start then you should repeat you are put jana concentration please re establish you are put jana concentration then please try previous five pushing hardness roughness heaviness and supporting please try this again and again then please relax your body if you do make your body tension then it is not easy so please relax and then please pay attention inside your lower lip and then please touch with your tongue please relax you can feel softness from this area you should try to discern softness throughout the body the whole body will be gone soft like cotton wool for some meditators it is very clear why they had been practiced for elements meditation in previous life so because of this reason it is very easy for them to discern softness the whole, when the whole body became soft and the dying please continue to discern smoothness how you should try please pay attention inside your lower lip please rub with your tongue inside your lower lip slowly please rub then you can feel smoothness when the whole body begins soft at that time please continue smoothness naturally smoothness and softness and smoothness are clear the lightness also will be gone clear if it is not clear then please try opposite heaviness 
When the whole body began heavy at the then please raise up your, one of your finger like that. Then you can feel lightness. So softness, smoothness, lightness. These three are lahu patawi, light patawi. Hardness, roughness, heaviness. These three, three are karu patawi, heavy patawi, hmm? are elements. So all together, six are elements. Hardness, roughness, heaviness, softness, smoothness, and light, uh, lightness. These six are art elements. The another subode in Bhushan, these two are one element. You should repeat this again and again. In every bodily posture, you must try to discern this eight one by one again and again. When discerning this eight characteristics one by one, if you see two or three or four together, it is better, no problem. If you see all together, it is better, no problem. Then, if you satisfy, if you are satisfied to this, eh, while discerning this a characteristic, this, please go on another two. Very easy. Please, eh, please put like that. Then, you can feel warmness or heat. That heat is called fire element, characteristic of fire element. Anywhere you can be a decent heat, because you are, if you are bright decent, poor elements meditation diligently, then you can, your body produce a lot of heat, so it's very easy. You can see throughout the body this heat. The heat is clear, then please pay attention to coldness. How? How you should try? Please pay attention on your nostril. Please breathe in slowly. While breathing in, you can feel coldness on your nostril. Then from this area, you should try to discern coldness throughout the body. Heat and coldness, these two characteristics are called fire element. All together, they are ten characteristics. You should try these ten characteristics in every bodily posture to make clear in your mind. If you satisfy them, you should go on another two characteristics. Water element. Flowing and cohesion. If you try these ten characteristics again and again, then you can feel cohesion. Cohesion is if someone grasps your whole body tightly, such type of feeling is called cohesion. If it is not clear, then next day you can try pushing in hardness again and again. Then you will feel cohesion. Cohesion is not tangible object. Because of this reason, it is not easy by touching to feel this cohesion. So you should try push in hardness again and again, then slowly you will feel tightness or cohesion. If it is clear, then you should try to do some flowing. Oh. In the root of your teeth, slivers are always flowing. For on this area, you should try to do some flowing throughout the body. Throughout the body, especially blood, there are blood circulations. The blood flowing up and down, so you can try to see flowing. For those who had already bright days, already discerned 42 parts or 32 parts, it is very easy to discern flowing. But for those who does not bright days, 32 parts, then they should try to discern flowing from this area. But if it is not clear, then you should go back to your Anabana hmm? meditation. Please re-establish your Anabana fourth channel. When concentration is very strong, the light of which is very bright, at that time, please go back to the corridor, one by one. Then you will feel flowing also. So all together, there are 12 corridor states. I will calculate again. Pushing, hardness, roughness, heaviness, supporting, Softness, smoothness, lightness, 
heat, coldness, cohesion, and flowing. So please repeat according to this order, this series. This is for beginners, for easy understanding. We teach in this way. My teacher also teach me in this way. So because of this reason, according to this system, we teach. But if you get this um, thoroughly and very, very quickly, then please change the order according to Buddha's teaching. In Buddha's teaching, Buddha taught ad element, wada element, paya element, wet element. Ad element, hardness, roughness, heaviness, softness, smoothness, and lightness, these six are ad element. Flowing and cohesion, these two characteristics are water element. Heat and goldness, these two characteristics are fire element. Subordinate and pushing, these two characteristics are wind element. So according to this order, we must try according to Buddha's teaching. For beginners, pushing is very easy. Because of this reason, usually we teach pushing first. But for some meditators, if they had enough for me, everything is very clear, everything is very easy. It is not necessary to follow, to step from pushing. They can directly go up element, water element, fire element, wet element. When, when listening the Mahasri Prana Soda at that time, many vehicles they can follow up element, water element, fire element, wet element. So because of this reason, they already understood. They already discerned. So because of this reason, in this way, both are taught. But nowadays, for beginners, it will be a little bit difficult. Because of this reason, we teach another system. But if you get this and four elements thoroughly, at the time, please change according to Buddha's teaching. Why? We must go on. No, not, this is not enough. We must go on up to the stage. In that stage, you should try to see kalapas as well as ultimate materiality. If you, you want to go to the, up to that stage, then according to Buddha's teaching, you must follow. Why? We must practice four elements meditation according to Buddha's teaching. When we are practicing four elements meditation according to Buddha's teaching, at the day, your concentration can develop. You can build up your concentration deeper and deeper, taking four elements as object. So, while practicing concentration, at the day, the order is very important. Art, Vada, Faya, Wen. Art, Vada, Faya, Wen. This order is very important. So, because of this reason, please change the order. I will repeat again. Hardness, roughness, heaviness, softness, smoothness, lightness, flowing, cohesion, heat, coldness, supporting, and pushing. According to this order, please repeat again and again from head to foot throughout the body. While walking, while standing, while sitting, while lying down, in every bodily posture you must try, in every bodily movement you must try in the same way. If you can descend very, very quickly, very quickly means from hardness to pushing, there are 12 characteristics. If you get this, uh, these 12 characteristics one by one throughout the body, then this is one round. Within one minute, two or three rounds will be necessary. <laughs> so you should repeat again and again. Then if you get this, uh, these 12 characteristics very, very quickly, then Please try overview. You are sitting eh? as if you are standing up and then you look down your whole body. Then please overview. When overviewing, you should emphasize only try characteristics one by one. While overviewing, you should not move your attention from one place to another. Here, 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 here. In this way, you should not move. You should, as a general, focus the whole body. And then, 
You should emphasize only 12 characteristics, not 40. Then if you can discern these 12 characteristics clearly, then please discern one by one again and again. Then you will see two or three or four or five together, or maybe all, nearly all together. At that time, please change poor group. See hardness, roughness, heaviness, softness, smoothness, lightness. You should pay attention, this is art element. See flowing in cohesion. You should pay attention, this is water element. See heat and coldness. You should pay attention, this is fire element. See supporting in pushing. You should pay attention, this is fire. And uh, this is one element. So, if you can dance nearly simultaneously, all characters together, then you should change for group. Art element, water element, fire element, wind element. Without seeing characters, you should not recite. Art, water, fire, wind. Art, water, fire, wind. You must try to see. Then as a, uh, you must see characters as well as you should pay attention. Art, water, fire, wind. At Wanda Payawe, and then the bridge concentrate on four elements of that. If it is not clear, then bridge go back Anabana or maybe any casino, eh? up to fourth jhana. Then when fourth jhana concentration is very strong, the again please repeat in the same way. And then please focus, please overview your four elements. Then please concentrate on four elements of that. <coughs> Slowly, because of previous concentration, you can concentrate on four elements of object very quickly. If you can concentrate on your four elements of object very quickly, please increase your concentration time. At least if you can concentrate on four elements of object more than one hour. And then, then you will not see your body. You will see only Four elements only. <laughs> so, removing perception of being, sada, sada senya. Sada senya is perception of being, perception of person. You do not see being, you do not see person, you do not see your body. You see only four elements. And then, then your concentration will begin deeper and deeper. Please pay attention to four elements only. Then when your concentration becomes deeper and deeper, then you will see your body begin like smoke, smoky color. And that smoky color again, please discern 12 characteristics of four elements. Same, 12 characteristics and four elements are same. And then please concentrate on those four elements of life. When your concentration again becomes deeper and deeper, then the whole body will become white form, like cotton wool. In that cotton wool color, also you should again do this, to a characteristic and eh, four elements. Then if you get another four elements of that white form, then please concentrate on that four elements of that again. When your concentration again becomes deeper and deeper, then you will see your whole body becomes transparent body, like ice block. What is transparency? In Buddha's teaching, there are five pasada ruba. Pasada ruba, they translate transparent element, but in America, they do not understand about element. <laughs> they say, hmm, maybe someone told me. But in Buddha's teaching, this is called Chaku Dadu, Soda Dadu, Gana Dadu, Jiwa Dadu, Kaya Dadu. In this way, also Buddha door. They are transparent like mirror. This is measured in Vishodhi Mega, hmm? the path of purification. Chakadi Pincha Vida. Ruba dina ghana bichya bhavena adasa talan viya vipasana da pasada rubanama. What is the meaning? 
both that daughter they are five percent of robust and transparent element or and sensitivity ear sensitivity nose sensitivity tongue sensitivity body sensitivity or together they are five transparent elements pasada robust they are transparent like mirror this is measured in visodin baga the word of purification so these are transparent but before you can break down the kalabas as a group as a competitiveness you see this transparent body like ice block again you must try to design four elements in that transparent body if you get this and dual gridarity or four elements in that transparent body then please concentrate on that four, four elements object when your concentration becomes again deeper and deeper that transparent body will emit a strong powerful brilliant lights and then that if you have an apparmi you can see clubs it will break down into pieces but if it is not break down into pieces into small body gas then you must try to desa agasa dadu space element this is mentioned in mahaya ula vara sauda dadu vibhanga sauda mahahadi brahma sauda eh abhidama dadu vibhanga bali text what is agasa space space is the boundary of one club or between clubs this space the between club space is called agasa dadu if you penetrate this space then you can see at the day small body gas you are transparent body will break down into pieces and you can see small body gas <coughs> again you must get some four elements in each small body gas it is not easy why they are very quickly rising and passing away but other than you should breathe in not to see rising and passing away just emphasize only four elements if it is not clear then you should try one by one for example as a general the whole body you should try to this hardness in one kalaba you should try to this hardness repeat again and again if you get this hardness in one kalaba then please change another kalaba also in the same way hardness then if you try in this way again and again then you will try you will be able to do this hardness in nearly in every kalaba if you pay addition any kalaba then you can see hardness if it is okay then you should try again this hardness and roughness do together hardness and roughness as a general the whole body in one club hardness and roughness in this way slowly increase up to 12 corridors states really in each club there are eight corridors states only for example <coughs> within one club hardness roughness heaviness is clear, uh, clear then softness smoothness lightness will not be clear why please touch your body hmm? maybe with soft soft place you can feel softness but please care for the be addition again in that soft place if you be addition hardness you can also see hardness <laughs> why very strong hardness is called hardness but less hardness is called softness <laughs> so they are saying only hardness in the same way if you rub inside your lower lip when you are done you can feel smoothness but please carefully again be attention in that area you can feel li- little bit roughness <laughs> so very strong softness is called softness but less softness is called hardness 
So, hardness and softness, they are same. In the same way, smoothness and roughness are also same. Strong and less only. In the same way, very heavy is called heavy. Light heaviness is called light. <laughs> so, maybe weight only. Hmm? So, everywhere there may be less hardness or maybe strong hardness. Everywhere there may be less softness or strong softness or strong roughness or less roughness. Everywhere there may be strong heaviness or less heaviness. So they are saying, because of this reason, if you pay attention within one club, if hardness, roughness, heaviness is very clear, then softness, smoothness, lightness will be not clear because clubs are very small, very tiny. Maybe, I do not understand about Adram, but maybe smaller than Adram. <laughs> so very tiny place, there may be both is not impossible. In the same way, within one club, flowing and cohesion both are possible together. But when water is very many, much, much water, then flowing is very clear. If water is less, cohesion is very clear. When you are mixing cement, if you pour out a lot of water, then it will be flowing. <laughs> if you put maybe many more water, then it will be getting hot. So cohesion is very strong. So less water and strong water only. <coughs> so, but both can be clear. Then heat and coldness. Within small body gel, <coughs> if heat is clear, coldness will be not clear. If coldness is clear, heat will not be clear. But maybe like thermometer, less cold and higher cold. Th this is only or less heat and higher heat only. Then, supporting and pushing, these two are clear. They can be two together. Supporting is characteristic. Pushing is the function of one element. So, all together there, you can descend simultaneously within one club, a characteristic only. For example, hardness, roughness, heaviness, or softness, smoothness, lightness, flowing, cohesion, heat, or coldness, supporting, and pushing. These all together, they are <coughs> eight characteristics only. You should try to design these eight characteristics in each club. If you get design thoroughly, please go to design six toes, eye, ear, nose, tongue, body, and heart. In your eye, there are two types of calabas as general. Two types means transparent calaba and opaque calaba. Some calabas are transparent like mirror. Mirror, maybe this mirror, you can penetrate the outside, the trees from mirror. So they are transparent. Hmm? The glass, hmm? glass is very transparent. So you can see outside trees. But here, wall, this is opaque. You cannot see from this wall outside the trees because they are opaque. In the same way, there are two types of clubs, transparent and opaque. In transparent clubs also, you should try to do some poor elements. In opaque clubs, you should try to do some poor elements in your eye. In the same way, in your ear, nose, tongue, and in your body and heart. In the same way, transparent and opaque clubs, two, two types. In each club, you should try to design four elements. This is the last stage. If you get design four elements in each club, this is the last stage of samatha, four elements meditation, as well as the beginning stage of vipassana, because you understood, you already understood four elements in each club. This is the beginning stage of vipassana. So four elements meditation is both sides, samatha as well as vipassana. So this concentration, if you can design four elements in each club, 
Such type of concentration is called, according to Visodhi Mega, the Bada of Purification, this is called excess concentration, Ubuchara Samadhi. But sub-commentary, Paramata Menchusa explains in more detail. This excess concentration is not real excess concentration. Why? If you focus on your four elements of each club, you cannot attain jhana. Real excess concentration is close to jhana only. Jhana concentration. Excess concentration and jhana concentration are very close within the same cognitive process. But in this four elements meditation practice, if you can concentrate on your four elements of your club, you cannot attain jhana. So jhana in this four elements uh, knowledge are very far away. <laughs> so this is not ex- we can also say this is excess concentration really, but metaphorically it is also called excess concentration. Why? The degree of concentration is similar to those real excess concentration. So. Metaphorically, commentary gave this name, excess concentration, Upachara Samadhi. Okay, today I will stop my Dhamma talk here. Hmm? You can ask how many questions. <laughs> Uh, this is a question from John Denton. Is it possible to use anapanasati during walking or other postures other than sitting up to the stage of jhana, or does this always require the use of the nimitta? For experts, it is possible. <laughs> For beginners, it is not easy. While sitting, you get a jhana, it is true. But while walking, it is not easy, but you can see Nimeda. Now, some meditators, eh, they may have a lot of confidence about this word. Eh? While walking, if you are Nimeda becomes stable, at the time, if you want to walk, then please stand up in one place. And then close your eye, please focus on your breath object in the same way. When concentration becomes deeper and deeper, then you will see Nimeda. Please wait for a few minutes. When your Nimeda becomes stable, at the time, please open your eye. With open eye, if you can see your Nimeda, then please walk. Seeing Nimeda, you can walk at the time. But to attain jhana at the time is not easy. But for those who are expert, it is very easy. If you want, then please try to be a spot. <laughs> okay? But maybe I had we explain. Venareva hmm? Subodhi, he practices Medha. He is specialist in Medha meditation. So while going for arms round in the village, he always enter into Medha Jana in front of the door of each house. Eh? Imagine from Vidajana he accepts their offerings. This is his habit. In the same way, Venerable Sariputta, while he is going for arms around, in each two, in front of each two of any house, he enters into cessation and they make Niroda Samabhadi. Niroda Samabhadi means he must practice eight adamates. <coughs> at that time. So, he can easily do this while walking for arms round. They are his parts. But for beginners, it will be not easy. But if you practice again, again, while walking also, you can enter into jhana. <coughs> Oh, 
example, <coughs> our Buddha, hmm? one day, in, in one of the forests, he is in, on his walking path, he is walking, and then he is entering into one edema. Maybe possible way is jhana edema or prushen edema, harap prushen edema or niroda, harap prushen edema, sorry, not niroda. So, when he is walking, he can enter into his edema. At the day, Tanda, Tanda Bulle, Tanda Bull, Tanda Bull shoot. He did not hear this song. So it is possible for his first one who can also do enter into Chana. But for beginners, it is not easy, it is true. Hmm? Then, does this always require the use of the Nimeda? Yes. In Samatha meditation, Nimeda is very important to attain jhana. Without Nimeda, they cannot attain Rupa jhana, Pai Madhiriya jhana or Arupa jhana, Immadhiriya jhana. They have their own Nimeda. Nimeda is, in this case, especially the object. Object of jhana is called Nimeda. Taking this Nimeda, their concentration develops. So, depending on Nimeda, their concentration becomes deeper and deeper, higher and higher. So, this is the cause of concentration as well. So, taking this without Nimeda, they cannot attain any prime material jhana or immaterial jhana. But in Patana, so other jhanas also Buddha explained. So other jhanas means <coughs> when you are accumulating wholesome tamas, at that time you may have temporary concentration on your wholesome tamas object. For example, when you are reflecting Buddha's qualities, at the time also five jhana fetas, but these are not five material jhana or immaterial jhana. They are sensual jhanas only, kamavachra jhana only. Such type of jhana also Buddha explained in Patana, because at the time there are five jhana fetas are present, five jhana fetas, hmm? they are present. So because of the reason, they are also called jhana. But this is not ruba jhana or aruba jhana. Uh, this question is also from John Denton. Can all serious yogis access and use nimitta to achieve jhana? Or is this more suited to certain yogis who have particular skills or kama? Every yogi, every yogi. <laughs> if they want to add jhana, this nimitta is necessary. There are some meditators who have anaparami. If they practice Anabana, within one setting they can see Anabana Pribhaga Nimeda clearly. Such persons are also, there are many such persons. In our Jataka Chaturis, hmm? our Bodhisattva renounced the world as a Hatibala hmm? prince. When he was renouncing the world, he reached the Gengi Ripa. In the Gengi Ripa, he saw many waters. Seeing waters, then quickly water Gesina appear. <laughs> then he practiced Gesinas. Within three days, all Janas finished and he added day, five Monday Sakh Powers. <laughs> this is because of previous Parami only. <laughs> so, Nimitta is necessary in every, if you practice, uh, for example, casino, for example, at the casino, then you should try to see any crown or art on the crown, hmm? or maybe any artificial crown. 
We should try to see artificial ground maize and maybe with mud, something you should do sagar. So this is necessary. Without seeing original ground or maybe artificial ground, you cannot practice at casino. In the same way, you must try to see water. If you want to practice water casino. So the object is necessary. Automatically, it is not easy to rise channels. There must be one object. So this next question, this next question is from Leah Ten. What type of kalapas is volition made up of or broken down into? <laughs> there is one soda. Hmm? Especially in Kanda Waga, Sayoda, Sahidu, Nature, Soda, etc. Ruban Bikwe, Anicha, Yobi Hedu, Yobi Bichio, Rubasa, Ubadaya, Sobi, Anicho, Anicha, Sambudan Bikwe, Ruban Kudo, Nature, Boisadi. What is the meaning? Bikus, Ruba, materiality is nature and permanent. There are cause and conditions which produce materiality. They are also impermanent. Impermanent causes produce impermanent materiality. If cause and conditions are impermanent, how the effect can be permanent? <laughs> In this way, Buddha taught. So, our body is composed with four types of kalabas. One type is karma produced kalabas. Another type is mind produced kalabas. Another type is temperature produced kalabas. Another type is nutritive essence produced kalabas. So there are four types of kalabas. Karma. Now, I will explain you hmm, to understand clearly. Now you are practicing anabana. When you are practicing anabana, you can see you are nimitta. At the beginning stage, nimitta is not stable. Is it true? <laughs> huh? So nimitta is not stable. Why? Concentration is important. When you are concentration is not stable, nimitta cannot be stable. <laughs> when you are concentration becomes stable, then nimitta also will become stable. It depends on cause, condition, condition and cause. What is condition and cause for nimitta concentration? Huh? For easy understanding. In the same way, now you are accumulating hosantamas when you are meditating. These hosantamas are also permanent or impermanent? Impermanent. <laughs> if they are permanent, then concentration will be always concentration. <laughs> Is it true? <laughs> so they are also impermanent. That impermanent cause will produce one day one type of effect. Impermanent cause produce one type of effect, then that effect can be permanent or impermanent. Yes, this is the same. So both are taught. Hmm? In the same way, karma, in previous life we had already accumulated wholesome karmas to produce this hmm? karma produce kalabas. So these wholesome karmas are also impermanent. How this effect can be permanent? So they are impermanent. This is nature. In the same way, they are also mind produced kalabas. Every consciousness which arises depending on your heart base can produce mind produced kalabas every moment. Mind is impermanent. How the effect mind produced kalabas can be permanent? Cannot be permanent. In the same way, in each kalaba there is fire element, dejo. That fire element, dejo, is called temperature. Udu. That temperature produces another generation. 
That temperature also impermanent. How another generation can be permanent? <laughs> impermanent only. In the same way, nutritive assets produce new calabas with the assistance of digestive fire. <laughs> digestive fire also impermanent. Nutritive assets of each calabas also impermanent. How the nutrient may produce calabas can be permanent. They are also impermanent. So, if cause and conditions are, conditions and cause are impermanent, the effect also cannot be permanent. Okay. I think that uh, her second question, which is, what about intention? What can it be broken down into? What about intention? What is the meaning? Huh? Maybe I do not understand the meaning. What about intention? Intention, do you mean? Intention means what? What do you mean, intention? Intention means um, uh, the idea that I have in my mind before I do something. Maybe these effect clubs are impermanent. They are impermanent. What is intention? <laughs> Impermanent. <laughs> so. Chetana, if you may, Chetana, Chetana is, they translate volition. That volition is past volition, karma. Hmm? Past karma volition also nature and permanent. How the calabas can be permanent. Hmm? If cause and conditions are impermanent, the effect cannot be permanent. What can it be broken down into? This is their nature because cause is so this question is from Oak Freed. Uh, where in the suttas may I read more about Kalapas? Maybe they are indirectly. Indirectly means if you read Maharaula Vada Sutta, you can see Buddha instruct to the Venerable Rahula to practice six elements meditation. <laughs> what are six? Number one is earth element. Number two is water element. Number three, fire element. Number four, wind element. Number five, consciousness element. Vinyana Dadu. Number six is Agasa Dadu, space element. What is space? Space is the boundary of Kalabas. You should try to see the boundary of Kalabas in this way Buddha suggests to Benariva Rahula, as well as in Dadu Vibhanga Sutta, in Dadu Vibhanga Abhidhamma Bali text. So space is nothing but boundary of Kalabas. Between one Kalabas and between Kalabas there is space. That space you must try to see in this way Buddha taught. So, in, according to this instruction, commentary explains in detail about this instruction. What is the meaning of this instruction? There are two types of materiality, four elements in derivative materiality. Derivative materiality means some materials arise dependent on four elements only. They are called derivative materiality. Four elements and there are 24 derivative materialities. Among 24 derivative materialities, Buddha instructs to Jesa Agasa space between the Kalabas. This is the, we call Lakanahara Nidhi Madha. Lakanahara Nidhi Madha means among 24 groups, one predominant Panda Buddha explained. Then remaining also we must do in the same way. For example, earth element is a nature. Then what about water element, fire element, wind element? Oh, you should try to do another in the same way. 
Product only sometimes only one what product dot. Because depending on this one what they will see directly. If you try to understand art element is nature, then you will also understand water element, fire element, wind element also, they are also nature. Why? With a small body, they rise together simultaneously. So if one pass away, then you can see the other also in the same way pass away. So nature, you will see. In the same way, among 24 derived materialities, powder is play only agasa, space. Then you must also try to understand the remaining 23 derived materialities also as nature in the same way. So in this way, indirectly Buddha taught eh, Maha Raula Vara Soda, Tadu Vibhanga Soda, etc. But in some sodas, in another way Buddha taught, for example, in Adida Briya Soda, etc., in Salayana Vaga Sayoda, you can see Chaku Anecha, Ruba Anecha, Chaku Vinyana Anecha, Chaku Sambasa Anecha, Chaku Sambasa, Jawurana Anecha, etc., in this way Buddha taught. So, Chaku Anecha. Chaku Anecha means you should find eyes to understand eye sensitivity. I see the body rise as a small body girl for who practice for limits meditation such a medical they can already understood. I see the body rise as a small body girl called Kalabas. If you must contemplate this I see the body as nature, then first you must try to see I take Kalaba. Because if you see Kalaba, then if you analyze this Kalaba, there are ten types of materiality. Art element, Vada element, Paya element, one element, Kala, Oda, flavor, nutritive essence, life faculty, and eye sensitivity, eye transparent element. So there are ten rubas. Among ten rubas, <coughs> Buddha instruct to, to contemplate eye sensitivity as a nature. In one minute. <coughs> if they contemplate eye sensitivity as a nature, they will also see the remaining nine types of materiality also in nature. Because when they small body get, they rise together simultaneously and they pass away together. Because of this reason, they will see. Then I want to explain another way. There is color, odor, flavor, nutritive essence. Life faculty and eh? eye sensitivity. So, what is color? And within color, but there is color. That color is the color of four elements only. <laughs> Here, you can see brown color. What is brown color? Brown color of our my rope. So there is one rope. There must be rope. And you are Oh, hmm? uh, there is color. Hmm. color. Color is the color of your clothes only. So there must be clothes. Clothes are like four elements. Color is like your clothes color. So color is nothing but four elements color. Odor. If you feel, then you can feel one smile. <laughs> The smell is the smell of four elements only. Then, flavor, taste. What is, if you do like that, you can feel one taste. This is taste of your rope only. So four elements only. Taste of four elements. And then nutritive essence. What is nutritive essence? Nutritive essence of four elements only. <laughs> Life faculty, this is maybe protein. The same kalaba, materialities within same kalaba only. Protein, uh, faculty only. Then, eye sensitivity, eye transparent. What is eye transparent? Four elements transparent only. <laughs> so, four elements are based. If you contemplate four elements, then you will see the remaining derivative materialities also within same kalaba. 
So, if you Buddha says Jaku eh, nature, so that your sensitivity is nature Kana, no sensitivity is nature Jiva, then sensitivity is nature Kaya, body sensitivity is nature. In this way, Buddha taught one by one. Although he did not say Kalaba, but he said in this way also. But if we do not try to understand four elements as well as derivative material deeds, then we cannot realize Nibbana. This is mentioned in eh? Mahagopalaka Sauda of Mijima Nikaya. Number 33 Sauda. Mula Panasa number 33. You can try to see in that soda there are four elements as well as 24 derivative materialities. If you do not understand, then you cannot attain Nibbana. In this way, Buddha explains. So, although Buddha do not directly explain Kalabas, indirectly he says Kalabas. This is the next question also from Wilfried. What is formless meditation and how is it practiced? If you want to practice formless meditation, formless meditation, Arbhajana, you should try to practice Kasina first. Hmm? Especially then Kasina is better. If you usually... Uh, our Pau Monastery, hmm? Pau Doya Monastery, we teach Kala Kasinas first. But for beginners, they must prepare one disc. Hmm? Kasina Sakal. Maybe they must rub with art, hmm? with swine, hmm? to make art Kasina Sakal. If they focus on that Kasina Sakal, for beginners, for many meditators, I had explained. Hmm? I had a lot uh, what about research. Not successful directly. Some may be successful, but many are not successful. So usually we teach Kalangasina first. How we should teach? If you write this Anabana up to fourth jana stage, at that time, your Anabana fourth jana produces strong powerful light. With the assistance <coughs> of light, if you discern 32 parts, then you can easily discern 32 parts. Or if you write this four elements of meditation, when your concentration becomes deeper and deeper, you will see your whole body becomes transparent body. In that transparent body, again, if you can discern four elements, if you can concentrate on that four elements of that transparent body, that transparent body will emit strong, powerful lights. At that time, before you are seeing Kalabas, if you descend 32 bars, you can see 32 bars easily. <laughs> if you can descend 32 bars internally, then please try to descend 32 bars externally. If you can descend 32 bars both internally and externally, again and again, up to the whole world, including any miles. Then you can see only 32 bars, no man, no woman, no beings, only just a group of 32 bars. At that time you can go three ways. Number one is Kala Kasina. This way of practice is mentioned in Kagada City Soda, in Michima Nikaya, of Michima Nikaya. So number two is Asuba. Formless meditation or repulsive meditation, particular manasikara. This is mentioned in Mahasri Prana Sutta. Another is four elements meditation. This is mentioned in Maharahura Vada Sutta, Tadu Venga Sutta, Mahahadi Madhubhama Sutta, etc. Among these three, if you want to practice Kalangasina, then you should try to do some. Tadidu bas internally and externally. Then you should pay addition skeleton. Internet also possible, external also possible. But for beginners, external is very good. Hmm? 
For example, if you sit behind, in front of you, there is one meditator. Then you should first try to re-establish your concentration, anabana, fourth jhana, or four leaves meditation, up to excess concentration stage. Then please discern that it was in the internet, it's done it two or three times. Then please focus his scar hmm? behind. Hmm? Then you will see his scar as a white. Then you should pay attention, white, white. Then slowly, the whole body will disappear. There may be white circle only. In that white circle, if you can concentrate, very soon that white circle will become transparent, like glass. In that transparent circle, if you can concentrate, then full absorption will appear. But that full absorption may be not so long. You, you cannot maintain for a long time. So if you want to maintain this full absorption for a long time, then you should try to extend your casino circle. How you should extend? May this casino circle extend up to three inches, for example, around. You should extend intentionally. Then it will be spread. At that a little bit shaking. Then please concentrate as white, white, white only. If you can concentrate in this way, then it will be considerable again. Okay. Then please extend again, okay. another three inches, etc. In this way, slowly extend. And then when it spreads, then you should try maybe one part or two, three inches, etc. So please pay attention up to infinite world, infinite university, either both internally or externally. Everywhere, if you pay attention, you can, you can see all become white. And then you should progress in front of you one place. Let's say white, white. Then very deep concentration will arise, and then very soon full absorption will arise. When Gasina circle begin very bright and transparent, then if you can maintain this concentration more than one hour, two hour, three hour, etc., then you can go to up to fourth channel in the same way. Other Gasinas also you can try in the same way. If you had been already practiced ten casinas up to fourth jhana, and then uh, if you want to go to immaterial jhana, formless hmm, meditation, then you should try to analyze, you should reflect the faults or disadvantages of this body, this materiality. What are the disadvantages? Because of this materiality, hmm? There are fightings and quarrelings. Is it true? <laughs> this is the one part. Because of this materiality, there are many diseases, eye disease, ear disease, etc. Is it true? Yeah. Yes, this. Then because of this materiality, there are many torturings to each other. They present in the jail. Is it true? It's true. Right. So very repulsive, this materiality. Is it true? With the repulsive mind hmm, to remove this materiality, then another. If you want to go to a formless jhana, first you should re-establish one casino, especially for example, art casino, hmm? art casino up to fourth jhana. Imagine from fourth jhana, you should reflect these three types of disadvantages. And then please reflect one disadvantage, another. This fourth jhana, take the art casino as object or white casino as object. This art casino or white casino, any casino is also materiality. They are also repulsive. Then this fourth jhana is close to the enemy, that jhana. can easily fall down to that jhana. After reflecting these advantages, then please reflect one advantage. Hmm? After reflecting these dis disadvantages, then you should reflect one advantage. The formless jhana, number one, agasa ninja yarana jhana, the base of boundless space jhana, this is more quiet. After reflecting in this way, with the intention to add a formless jhana, huh? the base of 
uh, the, the ways of uh, space channel, formless space channel, uh, boundless space channel. You should try to see Agasa space in your Xena circle. For example, this is one hand, it is true. But if you pay attention carefully, you can see here holes, small holes. From these holes, body hair is coming up. Is it true? Mm-hmm. Mm. In the same way, in that casino circle, there are also space holes. You should try to penetrate these holes with the assistance of your light of wisdom. Then you can see space. You should emphasize only just space. Then if space is clear, you should emphasize only a space, space. And then please extend space. Then slowly up to infinite universe, you should try to extend your space. Then at Casino with will disappear. And then, then you should concentrate on that space. This is the first channel. Hmm? Then full absorption will arise. This is the first formless channel. The base of form the base of boundless space channel. You should reflect while you are reflecting channel patterns, you will see only two channel patterns. Ubaka, Igagada, Igwenimadi and one pointed ness. If you can maintain this jhana, hmm, you should try five months study. After that, you should go to higher jhana. If you want to go to higher jhana, then you should reflect. This jhana is close to the enemy, fourth jhana, very close. <coughs> then not quite like higher jhana. Higher jhana is the base of boundless consciousness jhana. After reflecting in this way, you should pay attention to this base of boundless space jhana consciousness. That jhana consciousness arises together with two jhana fetas, upaka and ikagata. Upaka and ikagata is equanimity in one pointedness. Then that jhana consciousness you should try to see inside your heart. <laughs> Because they rise together with two jhana fetters. Then if you see this consciousness, you should be addition this as vinyana, vinyana, consciousness, consciousness, consciousness only. Then another concentrated mind on that consciousness object will appear. That concentrated mind is called vinyana jhana jhana. The base of boundless consciousness jhana. This is second stage. Then, after that, if you want to go to higher stage, then you should try five months study and that is again formless jhana, hmm? the base of boundless space, boundless consciousness jhana. After that, if you want to go to higher jhana, then you should imagine from that jhana, you should reflect. This jhana is close to the enemy, the base of boundless space jhana. Number one jhana. And then, not quite like higher jhana. Number three jhana. Number three formless jhana. This is the, the base of nothingness jhana. Then, after reflecting in this way, you should concentrate nothingness of the number one formless jhana. How? According to Buddha's teaching, two types of consciousness cannot rise simultaneously. If number one, formless jhana is rising successfully for one hour, two hours, etc., and then number two cannot rise. But now, you are practicing number two. Number two, formless jhana. If number two is successfully rising in passing way for about one hour, and then die, number one formless jhana is absent. Do you understand? Because two mind moments cannot rise simultaneously. That absence, you should try to concentrate. <laughs> then you should be at this nothing, 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 in this way. Then, Another type of concentration on that nothingness object will arise. 
third concentration is called number three. The base of nothingness, jhana concentration. If you want to go to higher jhana again, you should re-establish your number three, formless jhana, five mastery. And then, please concentrate. Uh, please re-establish the concentration for about one hour. Imagine from that jhana, you should reflect. This jhana is close to the enemy, number three, number two, formless jhana. And then not quite like higher, number four, formless jhana. But now reflecting in this way, you should concentrate on that number three, the base of nothingness jhana, consciousness. And then you should concentrate on that jhana. Oh, this jhana is very quiet, very sublime, very quiet. Why you must praise? Because you want to go to higher jhana. So you must praise. If you praise, then you can go to higher jhana. Why this is sublime, this is quiet? Because every consciousness must have their own object. But this jhana has no object. Although there is no, no object, this jhana concentration is very high, very deep. So because of this reason, you must praise this jhana. Then if you can praise this jhana in this way, then when you are concentrated on that jhana object, then another type of concentration will arise. To, taking this jhana concentration as object. That concentration is called neva sinya na sinya yarna jhana. The base of neither perception nor non-perception. <laughs> because this jhana concentration is very subtle. Even Venerable Sari Buddha also cannot discern the, the, there are 34 mental formations. These 34 mental formations he can discern as a group only, not one by one, because they are very subtle. Only Buddha can discern one by one. <laughs> so these, these are formless jhana meditations. This next question is from Irene P. Is material jhana, uh, nu, nu, I'm sorry, I can't see that, rupa jhana, without the nimitta, a correct practice according to the Buddha's teaching? Can you please explain? Maybe if you want to practice hmm? rupa jhana, hmm? material jhana, there must be nimitta. Hmm? Without nim- nimitta is the object, especially. Without object, jhana concentration cannot arise. Without object can arise only that jhana, the base of nothingness jhana only. Another question. Next question, also from Irene. Was the teaching of Rupa Jhanas taught only by the Buddha, or was this practice already known in India at that time? And then they already know in India, because our Bodhisattva, when he renounced the what, he practiced these Jhanas under the guidance of Alara and eh? Alara Kalama and eh? Udaga Rama Buddha. Hmm? Alara can teach Abdu the base of nothingness jhana. Udaga can teach him Abdu the base of neither perception nor no perception jhana, eight attainments. One can teach seven attainments. One can teach Abdu eight attainments. So at that time, this jhana practice is spreading throughout India. In the same way, our body Sada's father is Kain Sudhodana. His teacher is Ajita or Kala Devila Isi. He is as far eight Ademis as well as five Monday Sakya Pawas. At that time, our body Sada was born. Only child, as a child. So, this practice is spreading throughout India at that time. Jana practice. But, 
In one place, Anabana Jana Buddha prays. But Anabana Jana can be practiced in Buddha's dispensation of the Buddha Jana Barali. Outside Buddha's dispensation, it is not easy in this way mentioned. This is for Anabana Jana only. Any question? Since the basis of the five supernormal powers is jhana. Yes, yes. Gasina, Tingasina, Tingasina is in a demons, they must practice in 14 ways. 14 ways means they must enter into jhana according to series. Power and Bhagavad again. For example, from Pajana to the base of neither perception nor perception. Then from the base of neither perception nor perception up to the Pajana, Pawa and Bhagavad, they must skip. <laughs> so there are 14 ways. At the day, they, be, they can become experts in eh? entering into Jhana. At the day, only they can go to Sakh Pawa. You should not ask such questions. You should write this. You should write this. It is better. <laughs> Any question? Maybe in one place only this is mentioned, but <coughs> I heard in India, Ramakrishna in his disciple, Vivekananda, they can practice Anabana up to second jhana. <laughs> Maybe true, but up to fourth jhana is not easy, I think so. Without teacher, it is not easy. But if there is teacher, no much problem. Hmm. Uh, what's the phrase, what does it mean with the Buddhist dispensation? You use that, that term. I don't understand that term. It can only be practiced with the Buddhist dispensation. Dispensation means in Buddha's what about sasana. It means during the time of those teachings are known. Within Buddha's teaching, only Buddha's disciple can practice Dharali Anabana Abdu Pudjana. Outside Buddha's dispensation means outside people. If there is no teacher, it is not easy to practice Abdu Pudjana, especially Anabana, not Kasinas. Kasinas, they can practice up to eight adamas, not only up to four but also eight adamas. May I ask, follow up, uh, I'm going to say that Janus were practiced uh, before the Buddhist time, all around India, or, or around Maybe, India. maybe. Or, or, or around, maybe, maybe, here, Kapila Wotu. Kapila Wotu, there's a Jita, Kala Dula, yes, easy. He practiced eight adamas and five Monday sacred bowers. Maybe in the Middle East, India, there are Alara and Udaga. They also teach eight adamas. So one teach seven adamas, one teach eight adamas. So because of this reason, we can say there are many teachers and things. So. Maybe Alara Udaga does not teach Anabana, I think so, but they teach Tengasinas, maybe. Big Ademis. Hmm. But not sure. Not sure means they are maybe, especially Hindus, they emphasize Anabana. But the way of practice may be different. Because of this reason, they cannot add up to Pudjana. 
No question? <laughs> uh, Sando, uh, the primary characteristic of fire element are uh, hardness and coldness. Is the fire element equivalent or same as uh, the so-called energy we talk about in our daily life? Fire element? Yes. Usually, they call, they are and are related, four elements are and are related to each other. So because of this reason, energy means wind element, air element, wire dadu. If wire dadu is very strong, energy is very strong. Wire dadu must be pulled or pushed, <laughs> this is very strong. But wire alone cannot rise. <laughs> there must be supporting elements, an element, Water element, fire element. If you boil water, heat is very strong, then pushing is very strong. <laughs> but that heat without water, it is impossible. Without fire, it is impossible. Without, without what called? Pot, <laughs> it is impossible. <laughs> so there must be four elements. <laughs> Today, let us stop here. Hmm? Sharing merit. Ida me bonya, aswe kya, oha hodu. Ida me bonya, nebana sa, pachio hodu. Ida me bonya. Sabha Sadhana Pajema Te Sabhe Mesama Punya Bhaga Labandu Sadhu Sadhu Sadhu